Hey, welcome to After Another Adventure. We're here at Big Bone Lake in Central Kentucky. Hi, I'm Randy. I'm Jay. I'm Alyssa. I'm Amanda. This area had herds of giant mammoths, mastodons, and giant sloths big as grizzlies. It had herds of them here 15,000 years ago, and that's what we're here to explore. So come along for the adventure. Hey, happy Easter, everybody. It's a quiet morning out here. Let's have my morning coffee. Hope you're having a good Easter morning. I've been hearing something rustle in the bushes, and that I'm gonna have to go investigate, won't I? There it goes again, did you hear it? Let's go see what it is. I swear I heard something. We'll have to go check it out. What is that? What is that? Is that the Easter Bunny? That's the Easter Bunny. Can you say hi, Easter Bunny? There's the Easter Bunny. Hiding eggs. For all the kids to get up. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi, kids. Look what I got. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Oh. Oh, she's going for it. Wait for your sister. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Get your bag. Come on. I believe the Listen. Easter bunny was pretty busy. Yeah, he was. He was pretty busy. Or she. Ooh, I wonder what's in the gold ones. Do you think it's gold? Oh, I got one of the puppy things. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's a beautiful day out here. It's about 68 degrees. You got a little link in here. Girls are coming up behind us. We're on the Gobbler's Trail. Can you believe it? We're having blue eggs and ham. Oh yeah, we are. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great Easter. I know we did. We enjoyed it very much. It's, uh, it's a brisk morning. All the uh, birds are happy and singing. Woodpeckers back there in the background looking for the uh, bugs. I think you can hear them. But this morning I went to uh, see the bison and get some early morning shots and a uh, little baby was running back and forth um, going back to the uh, group leader and then back to the mom. It was pretty cool. I got some good video of that and I'll post it right here. That one's calling the herd on up. He's over there.
I also got up at uh, 2 a.m. Let's see if I can get some star shots. Uh, and that was going to happen. We got cloudy out. Not real cloudy, just cloud cover in different areas. And it just really, and the moon was out. So, but I did get a really good shot of this massive house on the hill up there. I guess it does make a noise. Ah, hear that tree? But uh, this house is massive. It's up on a hill and it was all lit. I got some really good pictures of that and I'll post them right here. And that was pretty cool. Hopefully uh, nobody's on the trail. Uh, we're going to uh, head to the museum today and then uh, to the artifact area and take the girls over to the bison and do some hiking. Gonna enjoy the day. So we'll see you then. This is depicting how the prehistoric humans lived 15,000 years ago. Crude living quarters. The museum has a lot to see in there. Um, a lot of the uh, bones were shipped all over the world and it's a Smithsonian uh, the White House had a room for them. In 1807, William Clark was sent here for the first vertebrae paleontology dig in the U.S. Big Bone Lake, discovered in 1739 by the French captain Charles Lemoyne. The famous Saline Sulphur Spring was frequented by the thousands of years by Indians and vast herds of buffalo, deer, and other animals. The first English explorers found here scattered over the lake countless bones and teeth of the extinct elephants, the mammoth, and the mastodon. Can't have any vertebrae. It's a good example of what it would have been like. There would have been a lot more of them. Hey, this area was in fact a preferred hunting and butchering ground for Paleo Indians and later other Native Americans. Huh. Evidence of this lies in bones containing cut marks that have been previously recovered alongside the stone tools and weapons. In 2017, they found evidence of footprints in prehistoric man-human footprints tracking the sloth out in White Sands, New Mexico, discovered in 2017.
the area is set up for picnicking. They have a couple areas where you can picnic, a playground. The bison trail is only 0.2 miles. Big Bone Lake State Historic Site. This is the museum. All right, we're gonna enter the museum, see what's in here. You think they got two things? Oh yeah. See that? See that show right there? That's like what you were sitting at all the time. Still stand in front of the faucet and take pictures. And that giant noggin. Yes, and so are you. And you're also wearing. <laughs> Mastodon Head, found in 1955, Henderson, Kentucky. There's the teeth right in there. And of course, if you want a t-shirt, they sell those too. There's a huge difference between the American Mastodon and the Colombian Mammoth of their teeth. One ate trees, the other one vegetation. All right, we're gonna go check out the bison. Small walk. Giant sloth right over there. All right, gonna check out the bison, the American bison. They're all down here now. Well, they're sunbathing, actually. Yeah, there's a big one. 
All right. Hey, morning everyone. I'm here at the, close to the entrance. Uh, there's a uh, Bone Lick Creek that runs through here and uh, you have a walking bridge right in front of me. But I'm sitting on this big stump of a tree and uh, just enjoying the morning, having my coffee, taking some pictures, seeing what I can see. But it's gonna be a beautiful day again. Right now it's about 35 degrees. It's a little cold, and uh, but it's nice. It really is nice. It's nice and peaceful out here. You can hear all the birds. Seen a big crane earlier. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my coffee for a little bit, and walk around, see what I can see. So we'll talk to you later. Baker Family Root Cellar. It's a pretty nice root cellar. Big bone campground has a recreation area pavilion it's a nice pavilion now this campsite he's got it all set up I like that he's got the kitchen racks it's pretty nice really convenient there's 64 sites here some are pretty uneven, some are level. Uh, pictures on the website are deceiving, but overall they're all nice. They have water and electric. They have two uh, dump stations next to each other and they're clean. You have a swimming pool, laundry room, bathrooms. Uh, playground set up nice there's two loops one behind me is uh, a separate loop when we arrived Saturday for the holiday weekend this place was packed it was busy there weren't very many empty spots if there were any but then again, it was spring break for this area. Come on. It's the playground, chain link areas, the swimming pool. Laundry hours are from eight to nine. 
You have the bathhouse, the shower house right there. And the bathrooms are clean, it's decent. You have two camp posts here. It's a dog friendly park. This is the dump station area. Here's the check in. And they have a little general store there also. You can buy t shirts, sweatshirts, uh, Jiffy Pop, popcorn, um, other things, electric extension cords. Basics. That's the Baker Family Root Cellar. A lot of sites are small. Us will uh, allow for a 30 foot. And when it says 28, 30 feet, that's what it means. Come on. These sites wouldn't be too bad. Pretty level. They have trash dumpsters throughout. And the areas are set up for two vehicles per spot. Overall, it's a nice campground. Right now, it's really quiet. And if you're still with us at, as of now, and at, I ask you to uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell. So thank you for coming along, following with us. I hope you like the content. Until then, happy trails.